Okay, hi guys. Video. Because I sell the pressure pots on my website, you got a lot of guys, these pots here. A pot asking me, is that enough to turn their suction cabinet into a pressure cabinet? Short answer, no it's not. You need this because it's operated all the valves and everything at the back see that electromagnetic valves and all sorts going on there for it to work that block so what I've done I've taken a suction cabinet fancy the color coding eh suction cabinet just like an SBC 990 and I've converted it to pressure just to explain how I've done it so basically the hopper was my first job I had to get that plate welded on there to be able to take the pot that was easy enough because I got a friend who's a welder so that was that that was my first job obviously we built up a new cabinet so we bolted that on then the control panel lucky enough it fits You'll see there's the odd nut missing, but this is just to explain. Connected that to the pot. Then I had to put a control box on it to give that power. Then I cut a bit of hose, this hose here. I chucked it up the back and I put it through the vent hole. Obviously it could be done tidy. If you're going to do it yourself. And then look, I just fed it down there, look. Uh, also, got, hang on. you're going to have an exhaust vent, so I drilled a hole in the hopper and I've just clamped that there, that could be done better as well, and that exhaust, there it is there, look, going up into the hopper, see, uh, what else did I do, obviously I do a little bit of electrics for the lights, so they work nice I haven't fitted an extractor yet because it's not about that but I will do so that's why there's holes uh, anything else oh because you fit in a pot to whatever cabinet most questions I get asked are on the SBC 990 they want to turn their SBC 990 into a pressure cabinet just like the PSBC 990s that I sell. Difference is though, SBC 990s, what are they? 11, 1200 quid. Pressure cabinets, like that one over there, I've got two and a half grand. So they want to do it themselves because they've already invested their money in a, an SBC 990 or, or a different cabinet. They, they just want to upgrade it to a pressure cabinet. So that's it, I think. Oh, because of the pot, obviously, it hangs on a lot more, you know, with the hopper. So you'll notice on this one here, it's up on skids. Otherwise, the pot is going to, you know, it'll be on the floor. So you need to raise your cabinet, whatever cabinet you've got. And then because of that, obviously, then you're going to have to invest in a step. So I've pinched the step off mine and I've pinched the foot pedal off my pressure cabinet uh, but I, I've got the foot pedals I haven't got the steps I'm afraid but I do have available the pot the control panel the hose with your gun on the end uh, foot pedal power box I have all those oh another thing I did was um, I fitted a valve to the left hand side and it's here, look, connected up into a water trap. But those water traps, traps are crap anyway. It's got to run through a dryer. And when you do that, make sure it's half inch or bigger. Don't put a silly little quarter BSP thing on it with an 8mm inside diameter airline. It's got to be 13mm. And your compressor still wants to be 30 CFM upwards, no smaller. So there we are, so there it is, so now I'm going to go and, oh, I've got this old wheel I found outside. 
it's not powder coated i know a lot of guys want to do powder coating but i haven't got a random powder coated wheel hanging about that i could do a demo on so i'll do it on this it's only rough steel so it'll be a lot quicker than it would be on a powder coated wheel so bear that in mind so i'll go and turn my compressor on and then we'll give it a bash and i'll show you all right compressor's running i've chucked that monkey wheel in it let's see Right, look, guys, here we go. Oh. Go boys. Right. Just been out to my compressor. There's quite big difference, eh? But bear in mind that is an old steel wheel. It's not a powder coated wheel, so don't expect miracles. You still want to be uh dipping them if you can. Otherwise a powder coated wheel will probably still take about I don't know, an hour maybe. Whatever, I don't know, I've never blasted them, we just sell the gear. So there it is, 100% better being a pressure cabinet. I'm pleased with this. Uh, and I think if you're good with your hands, I got one guy who wants to know, you know, the big cabinets we do, the SBC 1200s, two, two workstations on it. He's already got one of our pressure cabinets, but he's got, he wants to buy a bigger cabinet to get bigger bits in it and he wants to convert it to pressure. So I cannot see any reason why he couldn't. So, but I must add though that the factory do not recommend doing this. Um, they say that the normal 990s are not, you know, strong enough to take the added pressure. And because I asked the factory, can they put together a kit for me to convert the SBC 990, the suction cabinet into a pressure cabinet? And they said it's not advisable because the PSBC 990, which is the pressure cabinets, are being beefed up to take the extra pressure. So, I am not recommend you do this to your cabinets at all. So if your side of your cabinet blows out, don't come knocking on my door cr crying. You do this on your own back. I'm only doing this because people have asked me time and time again, can they convert their own cabinet to pressure? Yes, you can. I've just done it and I'm pleased with it. So there you go. So what I'll do, I'll put the kit on my website of what you need. I would imagine, cost-wise, you're probably looking at about, about not far off 500 quid, I would have thought, for a conversion, which I suppose if you've got your own cabinet, you'll have your own extraction. Um, you just need the pot, the control panel, hose, gun, that pedal, because that's electric. Yeah, I'll put a kit together when I get a minute, because I know a lot of people are wanting them. So that's it. That is the conversion from suction to pressure, and I'm pleased with it. I hope this has helped. Have a good day. Stay safe from all these winds, because they do with my head in. 
Uh, you need anything, go onto my website, which is samblasters.co.uk. You can message me there. You could live chat, or you can give the call and uh, the office a call. Whatever, we're always here to help anyway. So enjoy and be safe. Thank you very much.